Hi everyone, it's Justine. Today I'm going to be showing you 10 cards and this is going to be my first video of my four part series of 40 cards all together. And I will be using the Time Offline Card Kit of the Month from Spellbinders. And this is the card kit for November 2022. And I'm going to be using that for all 40 of my cards. So I just thought I'd dive in into my first card. This is probably one of my favorites. I just created a little camping scene with some of the stamps from the card kit. For my ink, I used Versifying Black ink for the tent and the moon. And then for the stars, I used the Slippery When Wet yellow ink, and that's from Simon Hurley. And then for my trees here, I used the later gator and then I use some distress ink and let's see what that color is called when I put the cap on but basically I'm just creating a little wilderness with the stamps they're very dainty but they pack a punch and you can kind of create a little campground so that other ink there that I used was um, rustic wilderness so then I'm just going to go in with some of my Copic markers and color my stamped image Basically, just making my tent a reddish color and then creating the background with a little bit of brown and blue toned grays, kind of, I think those are the C's that I'm going to be pulling out and just kind of creating a gradient background. I made another one of these little arches on, um, I think it would be on video number three, and after doing this one, I decided that it would probably be easier to do the background first and then stamp the other things on. So I guess if you're going to do this, you can learn from my <laughs> mistakes or I guess my experience with this and kind of um, have a little bit of an easier time at making it. But I made a total of three scenes and I really can't quite decide which one's my favorite. I think the one with two tents is, but... I'm going to make one with a little camper after this on this video, and I love that one too, so it's kind of hard to pick a favorite, but here I go with the C's, and I know that cap's down, but I do eventually move it up, but I have a darker kind of gray, it's the cool gray C4 there, and I'm going to go up with lighter C's, so then I'll do C3, C2, and C1 all the way up closer by the stars and the moon. So that kind of creates a, I don't know, mysterious kind of a background. Maybe it kind of looks like mountains to me a little bit, um, or at least kind of a evening look, which is kind of what I was going for. So here I go with C1. And I just have to be careful for the stars because I don't want to lose that bright yellow color from that ink pad, but... Um, again, if I did the background first, it would be just a little easier. <laughs> and I finally finish off with C0. Then for the moon, I wanted it to be something kind of fun. So I'm using the Deco Color, and this is a silver paint pen. This was, um, I guess, part of the wax release, the wax seal release. So this is from the Spellbinders website, but you can buy paint pens kind of anywhere. But... Anyway, I grabbed this one to make the moon silver. On camera, it doesn't quite read right now on the angle that it is, but it is very metallic and it looks really neat. So once I finish covering up all of the stamped areas, you can kind of see there I go in and make little stars. Then I'm going in with this Pilot Gold Paint Marker, and I think I picked this one up at Hobby Lobby a while ago, and I'm just making some little stars. Anyway, that kind of completes it. You can see that moon is pretty silvery. <laughs> All right, well, going in with this little camper that I'm going to do next, um, don't worry, I will come back to that tent card, but I just wanted to put all the coloring in the beginning because I thought it might kind of make sense to show you all of that at the beginning. But anyway, I went in with the camper stamp and then I used the sentiment, hey there, happy camper, and put that on the top. And then for the stars, stars on this card, I used that yellow slippery when wet again. Then for the camper, I was kind of inspired by my mom. She's kind of a camper gal and 
although her camper isn't blue green, her colors inside with, um, <laughs> I guess my dad just kind of rolls with it, but she chose uh, blue green kind of teal colors. So I thought it would be kind of fun to make the camper blue green. My parents are really sweet and they love camping. So I thought that this would be kind of a fun little nod to them. <laughs> anyway, for the wheels, I just kind of used some C's, C colors and um, same for the window. But otherwise, I just kind of pulled out a number of blue greens from my Copic collection and just kind of played around with some colors and I like the way it turned out so that's fine here's a look at all the colors I used right there all right moving on I'm just gonna make a little bit of a ground I just put a little scrap post-it note on the bottom just to make a little bit of a road for my stamped image. I think it's good to not have things just like floating around, especially a camper wouldn't just be floating. Then with the dye that came in the kit, I'm just taking my red 2-7 um, and just coloring the edge just because I want it to have a little bit of color and I don't want to just waste it because it dye cut out, so I might as well use it. And on this tent one, I just had a green frame. And that wood grain paper and the star paper here is from the kit. And the sentiment is also from the kit. Brighter than the stars. And I thought that was fitting since this card has metallic stars and yellow stars. All right, back to the Happy Camper card. I'm just going to use a couple scrap papers from the kit. The papers were so cute, I could not even think about tossing them. So I had to pop them on here just to make a fun background. Then I'm going to glue down that red frame. Just to speak about some adhesives before I begin, um, or I guess we're halfway through the video, but <laughs> anyway, um, I have in that little glue bottle some Barely Art liquid glue. I like using the little ones when I'm filming just because it's not so big on my work area but I love the Barely Art glue, so that's what's inside there. Then for my tape runner, I just have a generic one. It's nothing fancy, but it does the job. Anyway, this card's kind of a more girly card. I think that this card would be perfect um, for me to send to one of my nieces or um, a younger cousin or something because it's just so fun and playful and kids love rainbows and flowers and butterflies, so why not? I also used the little sentiment smile, as you can see in the corner. That was one of the puffy stickers. So these little die cut shapes just are perfect for making some cards. Then as you can see there on the butterfly, I always pop up the wing part, then put glue on the spine. Just give it a little press and then the wings are popped up. I love the way that that looks. And I do that almost on every butterfly that I put on a card. There's a look at the finished one and we'll move on to the next. Now when I unbox the kit, um, if you haven't seen the unboxing, check out that video on my channel. You can see everything that's in there. But these little critters were just <laughs> really drew me in. So I had to make a little card with them and it made a really fast card, <laughs> which <laughs> I kind of like to do. Um, and they kind of made me smile, so I had to put them on a card. And then I used the You Make Me a Happy Camper stamped sentiment. And ta-da, there's the finished card. So here's kind of like a hiking, camping, outdoorsy card. I used a lot of the die cuts, a couple paper scraps on top, um, the puffy wonder, or wander, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and then the gone fishing was a chipboard, and the little tent was a puffy sticker. There's a look at that finished card. Now I'm back to the girly papers and I pulled in a couple different scraps here and kind of build a scene. I have this woman who's kind of like enjoying nature here, I guess. And I'm just gonna tuck the books and journal kind of behind her and create kind of a focal point at the bottom. Then I use the stamp sentiment to take time to enjoy your birthday 
and kind of framed off that card. And of course I love adding a little bling, so I added the blue sequins. There's a look at the finished card. Now for this one, it's kind of a fun, woodsy kind of card. I loved the plaid and I just decided, again, I wanted to use all the paper. So <laughs> I have a circle punch that I just punched that orange out with to kind of coordinate with the flames and the kayaking sticker. So I'm just putting paper kind of layered on top of each other and putting my die cuts where I think they could go. Then I'm going to finish this off with some puffy sentiments. That one says, hey there, happy camper. And this one does say, <laughs> life is an adventure. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, those puffy stickers, by the way, are very sticky. But when I go ahead and plan out cards, I take my anti-static tool that I would use for heat embossing and I just kind of de-stick them because especially like cards like the one I'm doing right now, I like to move things around and kind of just see where I want them. Often when I'm planning them out, I will just say, okay, that goes with this, this goes with that. And I just kind of set it together. But then when I'm making the card here on camera is where I kind of determine the placement of everything. So <laughs> anyway, this flower that I'm gluing down right now is part of the die cuts from this kit and I think it's very simple but beautiful and it's probably one I will pull out more times than just this kit because it's a really nice little flower and it's kind of simple in a good way. Anyway, I thought that this would be a fun card to have a lot of sentiments on so I chose to use three of the sentiments that kind of went together. Then, of course, I'm going to add some blue sequins to this one, just because I think it kind of calls for it. There's a look at the finished card. Now this one, I kind of got <laughs> inspired, I guess, from the circle die cut. You can see there that I have two strips of paper put together. Um, I kind of line them up so you would not, or I guess not you, but the person receiving it would not notice that I'm using two pieces of scrap paper. <laughs> Don't tell. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna wrap some twine around there. And then like I said before, I was inspired by the circles. So I have different circles that I've cut out just on some coordinating color paper, mostly cardstock. And then um, I'm just gonna place that over the ribbon, but I wanted the circle not to kind of sink down over the ribbon so I'm using some foam squares just to pop it up so it won't um, sink down. There we are all set. Then this little fox was so cute so I had to use the little fox and I had to use the mushrooms because again just adorable. Anyway if you notice this card's kind of matchy matchy um, because it's kind of the nice thing about card kits, everything coordinates. So I have pinks, oranges, and greens that all come from the kit. And they all coordinate because whoever designed the kit designed it to all go together. So it makes it really nice to make some cards with because it's been thought out and planned. This one's kind of simple. I wanted it to be um, kind of focused on the die cut of the bike. And I kind of finished it off with the location pins instead of using sequins. And I like the simplicity of this one. Anyway, here is a look at all of my cards. If you're interested in seeing any more, I will have three more videos with 10 more cards each video. So that's a total of 40. <laughs> so if you're looking to be inspired, um, stay tuned on my channel and subscribe and you will be notified when I post those this month. It'll be usually close to the first of the month, so somewhere between the first and the 14th. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'd love to know your favorite card from this video, so please let me know by leaving a comment below. Mm -hmm.